Hey family, happy Friday. Happy good Friday. Girl is checking out the J-O-B-B for the rest of the day. And uh, I'm about to get my Friday on. I'm super excited about it. Uber, uber, uber excited about it. This has been a super amazing week. For real, for real. Super amazing. And uh, it's going down, people. Let's see. Today is March 30th. And I'm not sure that you know, but Taraji has a movie coming out called Acrimony. And I am most definitely going to see it today. There's 11.30 matinee that I plan to go and see. And uh, I also plan to go to the gym because I did not go to the gym this morning at 5.00. And then I'm going to go meet up with my small group today. Uh, this is the end of our small group study session on the book, Not a Fan. So we're going to get together for a little potluck and just fellowship, really. So I'm going to do that later on today. Probably will not record um, that. But... You guys can definitely hang out with me for for everything else. I may also <clears throat> stop somewhere and get a curtain rod because I ordered some curtain rods and uh, ended up ordering the wrong freaking size. Thought I ordered the right size, but I didn't. I, I ordered the wrong size. I ordered two in the wrong size. So I got one because they were shipped separately. So I only got one, found out it was the wrong size, went to Home Depot to get an extension for both of the curtain rods. And then the second curtain rod never came in. So when I checked the tracking, it said that it was damaged and that they was going to contact the shipper. So Overstock ended up giving me a refund. So now I have to go and buy a curtain rod in the right size. So I've already been been refunded that and everything like that so i probably go do that today maybe not maybe i just do that tomorrow for my errands when i go run around doing errands tomorrow but i really need to just like bury myself in my hq because i have a workshop coming up on thursday then i have a speaking engagement next saturday that i'm super excited about i'm going to speak in one of the elementary schools here in houston to third through sixth graders and I'm gonna talk to them about how to stand up and own their shine so they can change the world I'm super excited about that that's gonna be fun you know talking to a lot of third graders um, that's gonna be fun so I'm gonna do some running around tomorrow to come up with some supplies and stuff for a little activity cuz I want to come up with an activity you just don't sit and talk to third graders and just talk at them you got to engage them right so to get them number one to capture their attention keep their attention you know so I want to do like an activity nothing major because I only have 25 minutes to speak to them so I'm super excited about that and this has just been a crazy awesome week because I got that speaking engagement this week I had a um uh, magazine feature that dropped this week and then I <coughs> um, and then I then I landed a TV interview that's coming up in a few weeks on a um, small sh local show here and one of the smaller on one of the smaller cable channels here in Houston so I'm super excited about that um, 
I'm not sure how that's going to be aired and where it's going to be aired, stuff like that. My interview is in a couple of weeks, so I'll definitely keep you guys posted on that. You couldn't tell me nothing, nothing yesterday when I landed that TV interview. And it all went down in a DM on Instagram yesterday. So naturally, yesterday, I was listening to Yo Gotti on YouTube. It goes down in the DM. It go, it go, it goes down in the DM, right? So, uh, <laughs> don't judge me. Don't judge me. So, yeah, man, so I'm just super excited about that. It, it's just been an amazing, amazing week. Your girl has been off, um, which is why no videos went up last week. I could say that I was busy, but I wasn't necessarily busy. I was just off, if that makes any sense. You know, um, I wasn't feeling productive. Nothing really was going on. So, it really wasn't nothing to really vlog. Um, so, I, it just, it was what it was. So, having a better week this week. You know, we all go through that moment where we have our little slumps, right? It, it, it happens. So, that's what was going on. That's what was going on with me. I had a little slump and just wasn't, you know, just didn't feel like getting up on the camera. And um, really wasn't nothing to fancy to really or exciting, if you will, to really share. So I just took that time off. It is what it is. Um, but like I said, this week is a better week. It's just crazy how things can change in an instant just like that. It's just, it's crazy. It is like crazy. And I am just, I'm just super excited. I got book sales last week that came out of nowhere that I didn't even know um, coming down a pipeline. So that was... Anytime you get a royalty check, it's nice, right? <laughs> I'm just saying. So, I, God is good, man. God is good. So, just been a good week. And now I'm going. I'm about to um <clears throat> go. It's only ten. It's, it's almost ten fifteen. So I still got like plenty of time. Probably go home and change into my workout gear and go to the movies in my workout gear and then um, go to the you know go hit the gym up right afterwards because the movie is two hours long um, so today is a cardio day so I can just go in and just oh maybe I won't go to the gym I'll just go ride my bike yes that's what I'll do that's what I'll do that's what I'll do. I'll come home from the movie theaters and then I'll go and ride my bike and listen to my Audible. That's what I'll do. And that will be my, and that will substitute for my cardio at the gym. Because today is a cardio day. Fridays and Mondays are cardio day. So, so yeah, man, let me concentrate on this road. Just want to check in with you guys and let you know what's going on thus far. Share a little bit of good news with you. Um, just want to provide a word, a word of encouragement just in case... You know, things haven't been going your way. If you've been down in the slumps and things like that, just want to say continue to lean on your faith, right? Because things can change in an instant. You know, just because things are a little gloomy in this second doesn't mean in the next minute it won't turn around. Because it absolutely possibly can turn around. You just need to, you know, um, just believe in yourself and keep moving forward and just keep pushing through. That's it. So, that is all. I'll catch up with y'all later. So the agenda has completely changed. I'm in couples. I tried to catch a early bird. It was sold out. So the next one was in like two hours. So I figured let me go ride my bike, come back, shower, then go to the movies. I go ride my bike and come home. The cleaning service is there. So now I gotta find something to do with my life with the hopes that they don't take too too much longer so I can get home and shower because after the movies because I'm catching the next the matinee movie and the movie is two hours so when I leave the movies it's gonna be time to go to the potluck so yeah I need for it ooh I like that one so I need to you know, be on my way as soon as possible. So now I'm in Coles looking at curtain rods. Just to 
know the curtain rods. I'm wearing something super fancy, but I'm, I'm not trying to put a whole bunch of effort into looking for it. So, yeah. So, let me just look at what they. Let me just look at what they got and just choose something and be done. Yo, I just finished watching Acrimony. the movie was good and I give it a 9 because of Taraji's performance okay so let me back up um like the Wednesday Tuesday Wednesday before <clears throat> yeah Tuesday Wednesday before the movie released she was on the Tom Jordan Morning Show and she was talking about the movie and she said that the movie was shot in eight days total. The complete movie was shot in eight days. They shot three days before she got there and then when she got there they shot her portion which is the five days. Okay. The reason why they was on such a short time frame is because she was in the middle of shooting Empire. So in order for the schedules to work they had only eight days to shoot the movie so she says that Tyler wanted her to play her younger self in the movie but you know with the with the time frame she just wasn't able to do it so the movie was shot in eight days she had no time to research she had no time to prepare and if I remember correctly I don't even think she knew what the hell acrimony meant to be honest with you we didn't even know what the hell acrimony meant. Like, we were at uh, dinner. I think it was the last vlog when we were at dinner. So we sitting there, we waiting for our table, and we talking about, oh, you're going to see Tyler Perry's new movie, Acrimony. And then we were just like, what the hell does acrimony stand for? Like, one of my girls looked up the definition because we was like, is that even a real word? So no preparation no research no nothing she just showed up and started working yo taraji is a beast you hear me she is a beast in these acting streets <laughs> i don't want to ruin the movie that is definitely a movie that jeremy could not have went to go watch so good call on me for being a good wifey and knowing my husband and knowing that he would not have sat through that but yo i was excited when she said that the movie was only shot in eight days and she had no time to research or prepare for that made me even more hyped to see the movie because i'm like oh so you gonna have to bring it like i'm like taraji gonna have to show her acting skill you know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, right, she did that shit. So I may end up seeing it again. If one of my girlfriends said they want to go see the movie, I'm going to go see it again with them. Like, for real, for real. I'm going to go see it again. Like, it's so funny because, uh, like, one of the ladies walked out of the movie and said that she would never go and watch another Tyler Perry movie ever again. I don't know why, what went on, what happened. I don't know why. Um, but she just got up and she stormed out. People was like, bye. <laughs> I mean, you know. Um, but yeah, he's probably going to do pretty well at the box office because my show was sold out the time before this one was sold out, which is the one I really wanted to go to because I need to meet up with my, my small group and I'm running late, but, um, somebody else in the group meet said that they're going to, they're that they're running late as well so i'm not alone with the running late um but yo go see the movie let me know if you've seen the movie just go see it let me know if you've seen the movie leave a comment in the comment section below if you've seen the movie like for real tell me what you guys <laughs> ah, tell me what you
did you think? You know, send me a message or something through, you know, through the inbox with YouTube. Like, for real. Tell me what you guys thought about this movie because that shit was crazy. Like, Taraji's acting skills was off the charts, you guys. I mean, like, Taraji is the beast. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm a huge Taraji fan, especially after I listened to her book, Around the Way Girl. Like, I, I'm a huge Taraji fan and fell in love with her even more so after listening to her book. But, like, she did that. She did that. Like, that's almost Oscar performance type. For real. Like, that's Oscar winning role type. Like, for real. <laughs> like oh oh my goodness it was amazing so anyway i'm i've been rambling about this movie for five minutes hopefully you got the point that i actually loved it taraji's acting skills was just off the charts phenomenal go see the movie let me if you've seen it already by the time you see this video let me know um if you haven't seen the, the movie by the time you see this video but you plan to go see it let me know below as well so we can have a conversation about this so yeah i'll check in with y'all a little later